Remember the good old folks at Motostrada, the guys who brought in CF Moto and now MV Agusta? Well, they gave me a call and they said, Hey Zach, meron kaming bago motor. Ano yun? I said, Zontes. I'm like, di ba yun yung pag-plague yung babae? No, Zontes naman yun eh. So yeah, we have yet another brand from China called Zontes or Zontes, depending where you're coming from. Uunahan ko na kayo, mukha silang malaki pero hindi sila pwede maka-expressway. Oo, dapat talaga palitan na yan, pabigat na rule na yan. Kasi sa totoo lang, pag tuluyan na akong mainis, tatakbo na ako sa Senado. Sir Sack sa Senado, saksaka ng serbisyo. In fact, gusto ko rin gumawa ng sine, ala ba to? At ang kukunin kong gaganap sa akin bilang matandang Sir Sack ay si Coco Pimentel. Sir Sack sa Senado, saksaka ng serbisyo. Sir Sack sa Senado, saksaka ng serbisyo. Laging tandaan, Derecho Lucero. A little background here, the folks behind Zontes is a company called Guadong Tayo Motorcycle Technology. Nagsimula sila 26 years ago in 2003. Total investment to date is about $150 million. To their credit, meron silang 256 appearance patents, 121 patents for utility models, and 36 patents for inventions. And nanalo na rin sila tatlong beses ng Technology Innovation Award. So clearly, hindi po sila haosyao company na di mo alam. Sanggaling. Ang nasubukan ko ay yung Zontes 310R and 310X. Essentially, pareho silang base bike, same everything except design, looks, fairing, and the gauge panel. So let's talk about the bike. It's got a keyless control system, usong-usong ngayon yan, at nakikipagsabay ng Zontes, which is good. Just make sure the key is nearby or within 1.5 meters from the bike, and you're good to go. Wheels are 17s all the way. We got very sleek gauges for both bikes, and they provide gear display, minimum cruising mileage, average fuel consumption per 100 kilometers, odometer, and the usual stuff. Unang tingin ko, akala ko TFT, pero hindi pala. It would have been cool though if it were. My first impressions of switches, akala ko parang nakaka-intimidate. I mean, just look at the bikes. I mean, they look like they're from some future. But give yourself two or three minutes and you'll figure out your way around the switches. Sa haba nilang dalawa, for the length of the bike, mas mahaba ng konti ang 310X at 2051mm versus yung 310R, which is 2034. Lapad nila, pareho lang. Taas naman, the 310X stands taller at 1227mm and the 310R is at 1096mm. Wheelbase ng dalawa, pareho at 1390, which means yung overall length that I was talking about a while back, those are just cosmetics. Has nothing to do with the handling. Seat height naman, they're at 795, so it's pretty friendly. Pang Pinoy. Both bikes have bodies made of aluminum, same with the swing arms. Both bikes have the same smart lithium batteries. What does this mean? It means kapag matagal mo nang hindi ginamit yung motor at yung voltahe bumaba at a certain value, magsisleep mode na siya. At hindi mo na maandar yung motor mo nang basta-basta. As I have discovered. And right now we have a Chino. So what's going on here? What do we need to do? Kasi sa mga mangmang, pindot lang silang pindot. Hindi mo mapaandar eh. Diba? What do we need to do? Okay, so dito, pag ito yung bike, one week or three days mong hindi nagamit, automatic mag-sleep mode. So ah. most likely, may buttons underneath the engine para mag-on siya ulit. Okay, where's the button? Ito, yung naging blink ng green. Oh, you press it down. Yes, pag nag-blink ng green, yun, automatic na yun, tanggal na sleep mode yun. Ah, okay. Let's fire it up. There. Yeah. Okay. That was the fuel pump. And then... Alright, that was very educational. Thank you so much. Okay. And if you don't turn it on after activating it in 3 minutes with that little switch, it's sleep mode. Na naman siya. So I know what you're thinking, especially those na who don't want to deal with this and don't want to worry about this. You can bypass this mode by simply changing batteries. So this particular unit, na deactivate the sleep mode. Because just so you know, Zontes has its own um, battery. Okay, so... You change the battery, the in stock battery. So therefore, eto ang nagpapasleep mode. Yes, yes. Yan yung papasleep mode sa. Ah, uh, okay. Pag palit ng battery, buo na initin ni sleep mode. Yes, so so Which... hindi maintindi yun. So it means ah, okay. pag aftermarket parts na, wala talaga pang sleep mode. Okay. What's that sound? Off. Off. Na. 
Ah, nag-auto off. Nice. Suspension. They both have inverted forks and the same shocks at the rear. So, how do they ride? Between the two, mas may pakiramdam na parang lipad ang 310R. Because it's more bare, there's less of everything in terms of looks, and it's lighter by a mere 4 kilos. So, mas racing-racing dating nito. And you will find yourself being more aggressive with the throttle. Yung 310X naman has a touring feel with it. Well, it's, it's built that way. And definitely all the fairings did affect the balance of the bike. I was taking it easier on the 310X. And because of this, I'd give the handling edge to the 310R. Suspension-wise, they are geared for sport straight action, so expect stiff damping. Sa 310X, kung may papalitan ako dito, I'd look around for some aftermarket off-road capable shocks. Kasi andyan na yung porma niya eh. And with its size, palitan mo pa yung spoke wheels, kupak to sa off-road. about this bike also is that the X210 it's not as wide I can still lane filter my handlebar is higher than most side view mirrors won't be scraping much cars in <laughs> tight scenarios not too much of a problem with this drone test turning radius nice and generous for this bike okay let's try it on S maneuver going here to there S maneuver one clear Okay, let's impress people. Nice, ba? Galang, no? Try mo! Kaya gusto mo subukan? Zontas, baby. Let's talk about the engine. The engine is comparable to the 310 engine found on the BMW G310R and the TVS R310. I've ridden both and while they have almost identical specs, they behave quite differently. The TVS R310 has a higher top speed while the BMW G310R has better acceleration. Now, when it comes to the Zontas 310R, this design is a high compression engine with a 12-51-1 ratio and a 26 k or 30 nm power output. Zontes is very proud of this engine. In fact, if you visit their factory in China, you will find the BMW G310R sitting there for you to make a comparo. Ganyan sila kakampante. They're gonna tell you, yeah, you use this bike, you use our bike, and you compare it and you tell us. Talk about confidence. This engine, wala siyang oil sump sa gearbox. So, it's got a dry oil sump, which will affect acceleration on the positive. It's got less drag. Yung langis na ilalabas agad sa frame for heat dissipation. Okay, the rear ABS, rear brakes with the ABS, it's not as aggressive. The brakes don't bite as hard. It won't skid, but it's not, it's not exactly a powerful brake. Yeah, it takes quite some time for it to stop. Now let's try the front. Wow, whatever brakes that are lacking in the rear, the front more than made up for it. I almost lifted my rear end there. Nice, that's pretty good front brakes. Well, of course. There you go. Zontes, rear brake, not so good. Front brake, very good. Both brakes, superb. So, now we're going to magic. Magic, huh? Uh huh. I'm going to take it. Okay. Subukan mo. Tatapat mo lang kamay mo. Oh, galing ah. 
Both Zontas bikes have two modes. One is E for better fuel economy and the other is S for Captain Barbell mode. Gas consumption. With the 310R, I did well while in sport mode all the way and I got a low of 22.892 KPL. Sa 310X naman, I was pretty easy on the bike here. I did E mode and super tipid mode and I got a high of 30.209 KPL. So the range is pretty wide depending on your riding habits. Mechanically, nothing untoward greeting me during my time with the two bikes. Mind you, I wasn't babying the bikes and I rode them hard as much as I could and I didn't really find any issues, except for one. The temp gauge on the 310X was on the planning side of things and would go really high even though yung makina was running perfectly. Kasi kung totoong overheat yan, edi namatayan na ako ng makina, di ba? Di naman nangyari yun. So, I don't know, I think it's a recalibration of the sensor and I think it may be an isolated case because yung 310R naman na mas binirit ko pa, wala naman Ganon. So it's a minor issue and I just ignored it. So, as you know by now, unless hindi ka Pinoy, our government has a relationship with China. Depending where you're coming from, this can either be a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing I see here in relation to our industry is of course the influx of more choices in the motorcycle market. As a consumer, if you have more choices, then it's a good thing. Kasi babagsak yung presyo, which will now force manufacturers to be more competitive in their value to price proposition sa mga motor nila. Mas magpapagalingan sila. China bikes the branded ones are so far performing well. Basta hindi yung mga haosyao na klo na di mo alam sang galing. Yan yung mga dinedemanda ng ibang kompanya. Dahil sa pagnanakaw ng design ng iba. Mahirap din suportahin yung ganyan eh kasi di naman magandang gawain yun eh. Now, Motostrada brings in Zontes to the Philippines, a budding Chinese company out to prove themselves in the market. The 310R is priced at 179,000 pesos and the 310X is priced at 189,000 pesos. No brainer to considering all the stuff that comes with what you would want to be more concerned about is the longevity of the brand in the market. Well, they've been around since 2003, they've grown, and they've never stopped. And they're now partnered with Moto Strada, the guys tasked to push MV Agusta, a very prominent brand, and CF Moto, who's doing really well nowadays, in the country. So, if you're gonna go with Zontes, it is an intelligent guess that you're gonna be safe at this point with your investment. This is Zach for Machina Moto Features. Ciao! The Makina Moto Show, featuring the Big Bike Expo and Moto Builds Pilipinas 2019, June 15 and 16 at the SMX Convention Center Manila. See you there.